The cake and steak is back for another part of the BFDI TPOT of this episode. Since last year was the second episode I have already reacted to on June since the day of my birthday was being upheld here on the midday of the June. And then the last one was January year for the first episode in 2021. That was the first one that was already been released after the BFDI was finished with the BFB year of season four. Now, this time it's the second time here in January of 2023 here to check out the BFDI TPOT episode number three. As we may not be going for the full episode, I'm only reacting to the cake and stick because this is what I do. Anyway, hope this really turns out that the animation epic is finally returning here, which is next month. Well, the, the month is already almost over before February. And then a new episode will be releasing a new trailer if you will keep your eyes peeled on that one. Or neither if you're on my channel. And the new deals will be happening here on February 5th. That could be a new change up here, so I will give you off to you guys because I've already finished way early. And that will be the next one. The new episode of Anatomy and Sandy Invitational will be out after the Super Bowl 57 of the game. So keep your eyes peeled here for the new trailer releasement plus the exit interview of the floor. I know um, Test Tube was not on here, so it cannot be revealed at this point. So we only showed you the best views if you could go ahead and check out the, the best uh, test tube right on the calling info. But enough to talk about that one here. It's time for the elimination view of the cake at stake part of team strongest team on earth. Yeah, that's their uh, their na team name, as they may have called that one year before, since they lost last time here in last episode. Um, anyway, this about the to do, let's get this thing on the roll. And because of this time, I will take a look at what's going to happen right now. Uh, let's see where it goes. Cake and Stick might be the only thing to find out what it's going to be. So, without further to say, let me react to this now. Let's get started. Today's cake is cheesecake. Oh, the cheesecake. Oh, except the broken glass. What the hell is that? Probably, hopefully, a racer just sued it up because this was the this was the worst part to eat with the glass. Hopefully, you'll get uh, bleeded by your mouth. That would be a bad, bad thing. And yeah, you your food is uh, entirely, entirely being blended up and messed up everything. I'm sorry about your cake, too. Ruined a bit by the situation. I'm sure it's delicious too. It has shards of glass all over it. But are you saying you'd still eat it? Um, gosh, if I'm. Sick. Oh my God, no! I would never do that. If you're thinking about eating the uh, cheesecake with the glass, then do not eat it at that point. It's very, very sharp, and there could be dangerous to your mouth. You could bleed and suffer,ly in pain. So do not do that. Get rid of a glass. And then try to like create a new cheesecake. Because at this point, it's a mess. <laughs> Not on here, but for real life, don't let that happen. Then I'll try. Then let's get to it. Last time, the strongest team on Earth lost by building a zero block tower. Whichever of their members got the fewest votes from you viewers is eliminated. Out of 74,873 votes, Grassy is- Well, we just made it to uh, 70, over 70,000 votes. And this is why we have remembered it before to give this thing a good look. Probably this one, the ultimate weight, might have been a lot of challenging at that point. So the next part of it, they passed it to 60,000 votes. So that does mean we still got a new uh, personal best way to give this thing a whirl. So hopefully that could be a solution here. First up, the safest competitor is Grassy. I'm sorry, I have no complaints about Grassy, what it is. The first contestant safe with 26,669 votes. I'm Grassy! And I'm two! Are you gonna eat your cake, Grassy? <coughs> oh, God! Wow, you're such a hater on that cheesecake. What's up with that, Grassy? Next up, the 
next safest snowball with 13,017 votes. Will you eat? Oh. How about you, Bell, with 10,617 votes? I'll I just voted on anyway. And what's happened to that string? Why is she on the ground? It's, she's not in the sky? Are you kidding me? I thought you were supposed to hang up. What the heck? Good news for you because you're safe with six. Oh my god. Why would Roblox Robot Flower think she would be safe? And also, why would she eat it like that? She doesn't talk, she doesn't eat like that. It's only a robot that does it like that. Why in the world could you do this to me? Basketball, you're safe next mate with 6,000. Oh my god, I, I know that basketball is already here. Why could you ever do this? 50 votes. Thanks. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm glad you loved it. Eh, what? Wait a minute. Uh, that really flipped me up. Uh, are you trying to, like, pretend not to eat it here, basketball? Because I would not do that with a glass shutter to cut your uh, ball to blow it up with air. It's down to two of you, Foley and Eggy. Which of you will be... I have no questions about Eggy because why would no, why would somebody could complain that Eggy would have just realized that it had spots all over? I thought it's a plain egg, but it's not. And Foldy, that that gives uh that gives uh, Eraser some nightmares already. What why was that a thing? Well, if this really is gonna bring me a, a haunted nightmare, I would say I have no other choice what to say. Well, I don't have any two comparisons. I don't care about them, about those guys. But uh, if you care about Eggy or or Foldy, well, you'll be possibly enough to be just pushing over the limit. So I don't know what you're gonna you guys gonna say. So you might have the figuration to give this thing a test two of this look. So, uh, what's the choice B? Am I gonna say it? Well, I have no uh, questions here. What's your answer? Who was it gonna be? Safe! Well, I promised to eat the cake, so hopefully I'm joining Pie. Joining Pie eating a cake, maybe? Because I might send her some extra. Because you're safe, Eggy, with 5,977 votes. Foldy is out with 5,596 votes. Good. Good, because that eraser just gives him nightmares about that. I remember the last time here in episode uh, number 12, I think. So, yeah, that was last season I have always noticed. And somebody just were to try to reportedly say that Foldy was, has six sides of a square. And I have no other consideration of what is going on with Foldy. So, uh, yeah... Yeah, it's time to say goodbye to you, Foldy, because I now know everything about myself except basketball, which has the little copy of my ultimate profile picture, except I have a little claw. I'm unleashed, so I'm just not even consuming it. So uh, what's the big deal with you, basketball? I mean, don't comply. Anyway, Foldy, this means a lot to you, so... Don't mess with our team. Hey, origami book that's called Geogami. I've been eliminated. It's been fun, guys. And with that, we're back. What? How did you do that, too? Did you just erase, erase Foldy? I mean, that was a little weird. Oh, my God. What the hell are you doing, fan? I just can't believe that you just already finally gave up on that. Especially what is going on with anybody else. Is this really going to have trigger me? Fan, I don't deserve you on that feeling. I hope your next team could be up for elimination. I don't think so. Because it's not going to be the next episode's elimination for Team Death Pack again. It could have been somebody else. It should happen like that. Fan, I hate you. What? You trying to anger me on me? Curse your feelings. You're such a redemptious person right there. Maybe you're afraid of being peaches like this on this part. Check this out. I got tricked here and get hacked here by somebody watching this. And Sean is afraid of peaches. <laughs> Ha ha ha.
This really can't be happening like that. After all, after all, I just wanted to do it this thing once more to try to trick on someone. So yeah, there you go. That's what you're really going to get. Back down to 41 contestants. No, Foldy. Hey two, a lot of us have been wondering if there's 41 contestants and we compete this infrequently, how are we gonna ever possibly finish this competition? Huh? Oh gosh, fine! I'll show you all my greatest shame! Welcome everyone to my amusement park! Oh, well, wait a minute, that, that thing is a little change off. And th this looks like a BFDI, the landmark that does happen here to last season. It doesn't seem look like a like amusement park. What the heck does that have to do with anything? I mean, what in the world did I have to say? I can't blame on that. My attunement park? I'll figure it out. I like it. Remind, there's nothing here. I know. I, I like told it. you, yeah. Yeah, it's nothing here, but what on earth are you gonna do? Is this gonna, something gonna be, uh, something interesting gonna pop up? Or is it gonna be something else like that? Yeah, have a listen. I've been trying to make a profit for the last two years, but not a single ticket has been sold! Do you think maybe it has something to do with the fact that no one knew it existed, there's no rights or any entertainment, and we all hate it! That was very weird of you. Fan, that is so rude. And talk about that one here, just no rights, nothing like that. Since 2005, it was Hurricane Katrina that hit the land here of Six Flags New Orleans here. That used to be known as Joyland here from the back in the 19th centuries. But the 20th century, what am I saying? The Roaring Twenties? The 21st century? How could this ever happen? It was damaged here and left it flooded. This used to be a flooded, flooded amusement park. Jeez, and I know sometimes it's still there. Nothing is deconstructed. It still stands as of this abandoned location here to this day. But everything is like turning out to be saying, what an empty crowd. I just have to say about that. We're all sad about that. What am I thinking? What am I going to do? Too much to say. <gasps> You're right, Fanny. About us all hating it? No, about there being nothing here. I believe you are. I believe that you might have had one for me. If I could build it, I can definitely dream it. What do you want me to do? An issue with these blocks, saying there were too many? Why don't we solve both problems at once? Let's declutter our lives of all these blocks by putting them into an amusement park. Folks, today's challenge is to use the leftover blocks I've been stuck. Oh my god, you use the leftover blocks here from last episode? How dare you did this here too? You couldn't let me do this to myself. I would do that for you as promised I would. But it can't be happening like that again. Walking around the grasslands and use them to make some sort of amusement park attraction for the park. By sunset, I'll assess all your attractions on a scale of one to 10 and the losing team will be up for elimination. Well, this definitely solves that cumbersome block situation which has caused nothing but death and mayhem. Donut, you convinced me. We should keep the box. There's the blocks and here's some supplies. Go! I just don't even believe in what this uh, has to be like that. Okay, that's the end of a kick and steak reaction. I'm gonna go on a roller coaster. So see you later, everyone. And for as a while, as for the next episodes of the kick and steak BFTI TPOT reaction dial. And with that one, I'm out of here. So I'm gonna go on, go on the roller coasters. Bye! Oh my god. Oh my goodness, here we go. This is gonna be the fastest one. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh! Whoa! Ho, ho. Oh, hoo, hoo. oh, this is fast! Fast one on a drop hill and a little slow to get up to the airtime hill. Oh my gosh. Good view overhang! Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Woo! Ho, ho. Whoa! Turning the more into my bottom of my feet. Yeah, just turn it out there like you never made it. Mommy! Daddy! I'm on this roller coaster! This is fun! Whee! I love it! Over the airtime view again. Yeah, thank you for that too. I will have that list for my bucket list ready. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh! Woo! Whoa! That little turning! Woo! Oh yeah. 
thanks for that too. Now I feel like I like I'm a thriller. Yes, thank you for that. <sighs> yeah, I guess it was a very fast coaster for me. I would should have bet that one. Should have known by them and with competitors too. Oh no, death! If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.